<laughs> what? <laughs> so excited. Yeah. yeah. Um, how? Well, I think today we're gonna try and trade in the SRT Jeep. Let's go car shopping. One last time, maybe? Starting route to Metroplex Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Fiat Sales Showroom. Hey, well, oh yeah, should we just, should we just nix what we're gonna buy and just go ahead and grab the Trackhawk? There it is. Oh, wow, yeah. What I love is, I like staying unpredictable. I just tweeted this. Oh, whatever, I'll say it on camera. I love staying unpredictable. Like, doing what everybody likes and what everybody can expect of you, like, that's what gets you e-fame. But I don't like doing that. I like being secretive. God, this thing is sexy. I'm just thinking of all the amazing things we're gonna be able to do to this car. These cars have such nice interiors. She's not flooring it. We'll get She's not flooring it. What do you think? I mean, this is going to be kind of like your car, so. I know, I'm still processing. It, this car is faster than the Jeep, and it's a lot nicer than the Jeep. It's got the same size brakes as the Jeep, with more power, and it's just. But it's all about what the wife thinks. This is not mine. I'm getting her something. I want to get Victoria something she really, really, really loves. She's not going to go talk numbers. We weren't really planning on like 100% driving home with it. If it happens, it happens. Here we go. Here we freaking go, boys. So I have to say, usually, like in our experience, buying cars at like the mid-20s or whatever, it's usually weird. People are usually like, not demeaning, but not rude, but they're, they're like, why off. Why are you here? And how are you buying this car? And what are you doing? But I gotta say, this these guys have done really good. And I haven't like felt, I felt discriminated against. It's nice. Like They're actually like, yeah, sick, dude. Enjoy the car. And, and we're pretty much shining right now. We're, yeah. I think we're actually gonna I'm get it. What? I was hesitant. You've been nervous all day. <laughs> One last check. Let's go through and make sure everything is out of the car. It's time to move on to something bigger, better, faster, stronger, thicker, yeah, whatever. Is this your dream car? Yeah. Have you always wanted one like this? Yeah, I love these cars. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it's so nice. Yeah. Alright, what's your favorite thing about it? How fast it is? No, it's not. Yes, it is, and it's comfortable. Okay, good. It's comfortable. That counts. That's better. Come on, it has to be fast though. I've gotta sacrifice the um, that Hemi life. Trailer Tom's gonna be upset, but <gasps> Trailer Tom. Tom's gonna be upset. Actually, no, he's probably gonna be. No, he's not gonna be upset at all. No tip amount. I got a sign for a tip. <laughs> Here it is, baby. You guys ready to see it? Hey, Victoria, smile for your new car. Bye, Victoria. Her dream car, baby. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Yes. This is a 2012 Cayenne. Hold, wait, wait for it. Boom, <laughs> baby. Turbo. It's so cool, and let me show you. That's, that's, a, that's loud. Let me show you guys the interior, dude. It's got the chocolate. This is one of my favorite things on Porsches. It's got like the chocolate brown, and I believe they call this something beige. Oh, I'll unlock for you. Um, all right, it's German, so take me a few hours to figure it out. Are you good? It's just, it's so nice, dude. Oh, <laughs> we had to, you already know, we gotta join the Porsche gang again. Look how big this freaking bow is, though. Take it, take that bow, put it on your head. Let me see how big it is. <laughs> oh my god, it's so big. That is massive. Have a Merry Christmas for the next uh, 30 years. <laughs> thankfully, it wasn't too big of a bow. Oh my gosh. Yo, thankfully, we. Hey, no, bring that back here. Bring that back here. No. That's not ours? No. This was a. We just paid. We just bought this. We tell me we can't keep this no, bow. No. Yeah, just steal it. Let's they're, go. They're keep it in here. I'm gonna use this for our first child's first birthday uh, present thing. Just, <laughs> just don't tell him, dude. We're gonna go uh, grab some dinner, drive it home. I'll give you guys a walk around, and we'll do some acceleration and some performance stuff, just like we did on the SRT8 when we bought it. Uh, man, I want to give a huge shout out to Metroplex. Dodge, the Dodge Jeep Fiat. They have a dude. So, so awesome. I'll put the link in the description. I've never really had such great service before, and it was. 
Really cool guys. Also, if you want to buy my old Jeep, it's here. It's here if you want to get it if you want, but we got something a little bit better, a little faster, and way nicer. <laughs> but <laughs> so exciting. Yeah. yeah. I can't believe this is ours. Isn't it crazy? Like I was this is nuts. First startup with the being ours. Oh my gosh. You guys don't know, uh, unlike the Cayman, this thing has a, it's a twin turbo V8. And I believe it's, don't, don't, don't hate me if I'm wrong on this, 500 and Seven. horsepower? Yeah. No, it goes up to like, it's like 540. It has a faster zero to 60 than the SRT and it's just awesome. <laughs> Look at this freaking spaceship of a car we're sitting in right now. Well, hold up. I can go sport. Nope, what is that? Nope, nope, that's not what I wanted. Oh, oh, sport baby. Oh, I can lower the suspension. <gasps> We're bagged. We're bagging it, boys. Oh my god, we just went down. Okay, this is so sick. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm having too much fun. All right. <laughs> I got front parking. It's gonna tell me if I'm gonna hit the Maserati or not. <laughs> I've been freaking out this whole time just driving. It is so cool. Are you enjoying? Are you liking it? Oh this car's God. got so many features in it. It's absolutely insane. I love it. It is crazy. And you already know. You already know we gotta park by the Maz, buddy, bro. Kind of got a, that uh, that nice dad SUV gang. You already know what's up. You're ready to drive your car for the first time. Yeah. Gotta get the seat set up though. So give me a second. Dude, this car has, it has memory seats on both sides, so like I can literally, this is, are you comfortable with this, where this was, right here? Yeah, Okay, all right, right, boom, set. You're gonna be one, now you're gonna be two in this one. Okay. And then I'm gonna be one. I'm just gonna, oh yeah, baby. Come back. Wake me up, wake me up, we get home. Oh! Oh yeah. So we're just literally chilling here, sitting in traffic, and you found the haunt. Show me what you found. So I hit this little scroll bar, and I can change. Can you see it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you have nav right there. Yeah. Oh, show it again. Go back. That yeah. is so tight. So audio. So listen to that NF. Nice, nice. Let's go. Hold up. Hold up. Wait. Hold. Whoa. Is that a turbo up there? That's a little turbo. Yo, dude. That is so sick, dude. This car gets better and better. Like, this is not an SUV mom car. This yeah. is a, this is like a, this is, a, this is so cool. <laughs> and I just wanna let you guys know, before I start showing you any of the performance stuff, first off, I just wanna say thank you guys. Um, you guys are awesome. You guys allow us to just live an amazing life and I hope that I impact you guys um, as much as you impact me and I hope that I at least can shed some positivity into your lives because that's what I love to do the most. You know, I also just want to let you guys know, well first, this is also, this is her idea. I, I, yes, I saw some on. comment. Can I clarify this real quick? Let's get real. Evan does have control of the cars. This is his job. This is his specialty. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're an aggressive right now. Hold on. I'm just, this was her idea. I <laughs> love the Jeep. I still love the Jeep. I'm going to miss it. But I've also always wanted a Cayenne. She was talking the other night how she, she wanted something that was more functional. This can actually tow more than the Jeep. It's faster than the Jeep. I've always wanted a Cayenne or a Macan or something like that. I love the Cayennes. And she wants something that's going to be a nice, kind of a mom vehicle for when we have kids. So this is going to be a nice, awesome, long-term car. And I just want you guys to know that I'm not like trying to screw her over and constantly making her switch cars. This is a mutual decision. It's a very last second mutual decision. Um, but I also just wanted to say again, thank you guys so much. And I wanted to clarify that no amount of, of, of cars, no certain type of car can ever make you happy. It might shed a moment of joy. I like, think this is obviously a very exciting moment for us because this is the, probably the nicest car we've ever bought. The nicest one we'll ever buy in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Physical things will not ever bring you true happiness. Like, loving others, being kind, like the true happiness comes from that sort of thing. It's not all about cars. Cars are amazing and they're very fun to work on and they occupy time really well, but don't depend on inanimate objects or just physical things um, to curb your happiness. Even though this thing is pretty freaking sweet, dude. We need to make it louder though. I do agree, it is a little quiet. I don't want it as loud as a Jeep, but I want it louder. All right, bet. Oh, do it again. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, go for it. He 
gone. This is seriously the coolest car ever. Oh, brake test. How are those? Are those bigger than our old ones? No, they're the same size. Yeah? This thing is awesome. All right, you want to do a flyby? This thing's fast as hell. Yeah, let's go. It's gonna sound so good when we get an exhaust on it. We should put an exhaust on it, but not straight pipe. Hey, you're hot, you wanna go for a ride? I sure do. It's my wife's car. How was it? How does this, does it sound pretty, like, decent? It sounds outside? really good. I think, I told them, once we get an exhaust on it, It'll really accentuate the sound. No straight piping, the, Evan Shanks. Uh, mm, mm, that's gonna sound really good. Okay, I will say this. Is that what I'm, are, am I smelling you? You're the smelling brakes. the brakes, yeah. Oh, sorry. S somebody put economy pads on this, and that's not okay. So we're gonna have to put some actual brakes on this car eventually. And um, I would love to get this thing tuned. But you gotta realize with turbo cars, they're a lot less loud. So, um, if we, I mean, if you do, we're not going to straight pipe it, but if we were to, it would sound quieter okay. than the Jeep. It would sound a lot better, but. but no, it has this nice little grumble. You'll see it when you edit, but it's like a nice, Ooh. It's nice. It's, yeah. it's really cool. So it's a 4.8 liter V8 with two turb ski chargers inducing air into it at the same time. It, uh, from what I could tell, I, I hit about max 0.7 bar. Which point seven, I said point 0.7 bar is like 10 pounds of boost? I don't know. It's like 10 pounds of boost or something. You're guessing, obviously. There's tunes out there for this, and I'm sure this this could probably easily go up to like six to 700 horsepower with just a tune, I'm sure. And that'd be my, that might be kind of fun. Uh, we'll have fun with this car, but you know, primarily, I think this was, we definitely got this for Victoria. She's always wanted a, like a super nice car like this. She's always wanted a Cayenne. I actually have always wanted a Cayenne. It sounds so weird. Do you hear that? It's like whenever you're braking. It has goes, front yeah. cooling brakes, but I don't know if that's that. I want to show this car a little bit to you, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this sucker in park and show you guys what's up. All right, show them what it is. Uh, show them with the car lowering. Okay. Let's bag this thing. Back's going down. Are you gonna pull a Chris? It's, oh, oh my gosh! Oh, Look baby. at that! It's Chris! Hi Chris! Chris, this is your fitment. Let's see. Oh, it's really warm right there. I shouldn't do that. It's a, oh my gosh, even more. Hey. You guys trying to go off-roading? We got you. We're gonna go ahead and slam her back down. It like takes a while. We obviously need to learn about this car. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I don't want it to be fully lifted. Okay, well stop pushing buttons because you're gonna confuse the darn thing. I'll figure it out. All right, lesson learned. The doors have to be shut. His door is open. Ready? And, oh, it's still going. Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's, that's it. Good. That looks good though. Let me show you guys this. Wait, is this it? Yep. All right, nice. Let me show you guys this big boy in here. Yeah, it's a little toasty. We kind of just ripped it a little bit. It's literally just a little oh, that's nice. latch. It's pretty accessible. It's nice and clean. Ah. And there's definitely two turbos. Ah, yes, oil. This is sick. Oh, look at that. Look at that, baby. It says turbo. What's that? We got a wait, Cayenne. No, it's not turbo. It's turbo turbo. So it's Tur twin turbo. Twin turbo. Two turbos on the car. That's what. This is no regular Cayenne, bro. This ain't no regular. We ain't about here. We ain't out here trying to be about that regular Cayenne. We trying to be out here about that <laughs> turbo Cayenne. What's trailer Tom gonna think about this? This thing looking so good flexed out. You already know. It's got that stock exhaust. We're gonna have to maybe do something about that. And we've got, I love this generation's taillights. This generation's taillights are so sick to me. I just think they're so cool because they're like, they're, they're not blacked out, but they're like slightly shaded in. They look so good. This whole car looks so good. And you might notice, I don't know if you guys have noticed earlier, they, it does need new tires, but they compensated us for that. So don't worry about that. They're not trying to screw anybody over. They uh, they actually made sure we need we uh we got what we needed. Unlike the last dealership we bought the Jeep from, and unlike CarMax, which I will this never 
which I will never buy from again. Seriously, hit up my boy Chris at Metroplex Dodge. With all the all those cars, they sell a lot of cars. Hit up my boy Chris. He is really awesome. Ask for Chris if you call. He is an awesome guy. Really solid. Dude, look at this freaking wing and everything. It is just so good. Got some of them dang gum six pistons right here. And they got that damn gum freaking four pistons back there. Dude, for a for, it's for a giant SUV. Actually, this does weigh less than the than the SRT. It is amazing. This car is so cool. So here we go, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our new, well, new 2012. Cayenne Turbo. And uh, man, I'm gonna tell you what, I'm not a huge fan of the color. I just have to say that first and foremost. So I'm already I'm already planning on getting the car recolored. I'm not gonna do anything wild to this car. And I say that, I, I really mean that this time because it's has her car, it's gonna be a nice clean daily. And damn though, this car is actually growing on me hard, but it's like, whoa! I like it a lot. Boy! And look at it, it looks so sick when it's lowered too. I personally, I am 100% gonna miss the Jeep. But like I said, this is uh, I don't expect you guys to understand. I don't really want to sit here and just try and just explain to you guys. But I think it was a good decision for us. And honestly, I just, oh my God, I can't believe I own this car. This is insane. I remember like in high school thinking, dude, one day my wife's going to drive this badass <laughs> Porsche. And I, you know, I, I thought to myself the other day, I was like, you know, I could get, I could get a Cayenne, but there's no way I'm going to ever, I'm going to get a turbo. Those are expensive, but. <sighs> so cool. You guys are awesome, and I just want you all to know that. And so is Victoria. Uh, Victoria is yeah. awesome as well, and she deserves this car. No, so. we're so thankful for you. We both are. We really are. And I want you. I want to just remind you guys again that never place your happiness, your 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 hope in life, your your thankfulness, your your gratefulness, your attitude should never be dependent on not even just cars, but not inanimate objects. There's there's greater hope out there. I just want you guys to know that. And it, again, this is amazing. And I'm, I I don't want to sound hypocritical here. This is absolutely awesome. But this car's not gonna make me happy in a week, or even in a few days. It's gonna be cool. I get to modify it. It'll be fun. But uh, I I can find happiness by pouring out to you guys and by being loving. Being loving to her, giving her time, you know, spending time with my friends and family and kissing her. And uh, I hope you guys are so stoked about this. I do have some plans. We have some plans and modifying it, but uh, it's going to be, it's going to be nice and clean. So we're definitely going to have to give it some love here and there, but it's pretty dope as is. Let me know what color if you guys have any ideas. I already know what I'm going to do, but I just want to hear you guys. If you guys have I'm any, if you guys have any mod suggestions or color ideas or anything like that, let us know in the comment section. I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of this evening with my wife and uh, with the car as well, honestly. It's so sick. Thank you guys again just for giving us this opportunity and for constantly coming back and watching our videos. It's amazing, it's humbling that we have the opportunity to do this. I love you all. And actually, if there's one thing I wanna say today, it's never apologize. Never apologize for being yourself. That's it. Peace out. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting, and be victorious.